Uh, my name is István Jagri. I'm a process engineer at Bolabit, and and today I'm gonna show you some uh, technical slides about our latest product. It's called Blind Spotter. Uh, Blind Spotter has one um, simple task. It it has the ability to collect all user-related information from the network, from from uh, all the system which can contain information about the user activities, from log files, from from. Um, uh, user session monitoring solution and so on, and any other third-party solution. So it can gather all the information, it can store it, and uh, there are algorithms uh, running against the data, and it can analyze the user behaviors. It can display it, and of course it can forward the results to other third-party systems. So this is the very basic uh, uh, working flow of, of the blind spotter. Um, this is how we think about the IT environment. Um, as you can see, uh, if you uh, plot your users into this chart, and on the bottom axis there are the, the risk factor, you can see how a user risk is. You have more risky users, like all users who have high privileges, administrators, database admins, managers, and things like that. And you have uh, users who have uh, less risk factor, like the normal user who has a right to a single application or, and things like that. And on the left axis, you can see the uh, deviation. You can see how the user activity differs from the normal uh, behavior. You can see uh, like a user starts to do some unusual things, to log on to servers which are uh, was not so um, uh, usual for him. So in the end, you will have this um, chart, and you can see the more riskiest users and the more um, deviant actions on the uh, upper upper uh, right hand corner. And what uh, Blind Spotter does is that create a priority list from these user actions. So on the top of the list, you will see the uh, most suspicious actions from the most riskiest user. And that makes the analysis team uh, work easier because uh, they have to investigate always the top of the list and can start uh, uh, solve them one by one. So the, you have the analysis guy here, investigate the, these cases and he can first um, interact with the user Let's say it's, it's the easiest way to start an investigation to call the user that, hey, I saw some uh, suspicious action from you. Was that you, really? Because if, if he or she says not, then maybe his identity was stolen. And um, of course, he can um, connect this system to other third party systems for further investigation. And the analyst guy can feed back the results to, to blind spotter. So, this is how you can teach the algorithms how, how should they think about the actions in the future. This is the design of Blind Spotter. It's very uh, simple. It has connectors to receive data from external sources, to fetch or, or to, to receive logs or, or whatever events from third party systems, like from uh, log management solutions, for IEM, for uh, privileged access monitoring solutions, uh, or from ADAP. And in the core, there are the algorithms. This is the data science under the hood. There are algorithms to, uh, to analyze all the incoming data. And Blindspotter also can be integrated with other third party systems to, to forward the events and have a deeper analysis with third parties, like with the SIEM, or uh, you can forward the ticketing system. And on the top, you have the dashboard where you can check all the user activities. You can see this prior design list. And uh, you can use any other third-party interfaces to, to see the results because there's, a, there's an API. So if you, if you want, you can use other dashboards as well. Okay, some facts about the algorithms. There are many algorithms running under the hood. Um, they are applied to the collected data. We have many algorithms. These are just examples. Let's say we can analyze the uh, time distribution. We can see uh, for an action in the time when it is um, is it uh, usual and when it's not usual. We can see, let's say, the, the user logons. They usually log on in the morning. They log off uh, when they go to lunch and they log off in the evening. But if a user suddenly log on, uh, logs on during the night, uh, this might be something you should uh, investigate. Other one, the association uh, rule learning. Uh, we can see how the user usually works. 
uh, let's say uh, he or she always log on to, to an SSH server on, on port 22. But if uh, he or she suddenly logs onto another port, this is something that uh, can be uh, suspicious. And we have the rec recommender system. These are, um, we can investigate not the users only, but the, the groups they belong to. Uh, because similar people are in the same group. Let's say the, the marketing team, the guys in the marketing team belong to a single group. And each user has the similar task. They, they log on usually at the same time, log off at the same time and so on. And we can compare the, the baselines of a user against the baseline of the group, maybe because some difference can be uh, suspicious if he starts doing something which is not uh, familiar for this group. And for example, we have a text analysis algorithm. Um, it's, um, for example, if you have a Cisco router and you uh, want to display the config, then you issue the show config command. But you can type it uh, in different formats. You can use shorter forms, you can type the whole command. And it's, it's um, for a user, it's very typical how they type the, the commands. And blind spot that can learn, can learn that, how the user types the commands. And if it starts to uh, type in a different way, then maybe his identity was stolen because somebody else logs on with his credential and because uh, he typed the command different, that might be uh, that might mean something suspicious. First, we integrated with our two existing projects. Um, I mean, the blind spotter, uh, because as far as you might know, we have two product lines. We have the Syslog NG, which is a, a enterprise class log management tool. It can provide uh, zero message loss on the network uh, in the uh, log transport. It can uh, encrypt the communication, encrypt the logs uh, on the storage. Uh, we have an appliance uh, for that. It's called Syslog NG Storebox. And uh, it contains a lot of information about the users because uh, um, logs contain a lot of information about the user activities. So therefore we integrated first with uh, Syslog NG and uh, we have the SHA control box uh, which is a, a user monitoring appliance. It can record the user activities and you can replay it as a movie. Uh, and besides it can control the access to the servers. And it also contains a lot of information about the, the user activities, which, uh, which cannot be revealed by the logs, that can be revealed by the, the audit trails from Syslog, uh, from, from Shack Control Box. So that was obvious to integrate Blindspotter first with these two products, um, but uh, we are about to integrate with more systems, with more themes and whatever. So we will create a lot of connectors to, to connect with, uh, to connect to, to serve the system and fetch more and more data about the user activities. So again, this is the, uh, the overview again. Uh, the blind spotter can highlight uh, anomalies in user behavior, so you can see what is normal for a user, what is suspicious for a user. Uh, it will give a private result list to the analyst guys, so it will so the task of these guys will be uh, very easy because they will see a single list. The most suspicious event is on the top, and you, they can investigate one by one. And you can hide useless information because you can teach blind spotter if, if something was. Um, um, not so important that you can teach that for blind spotter, and, the, and in the future, it, it will score uh, with a lower uh, score. Uh, and you can find strange user activities against the group. If the user starts to doing something not usual for the group, that also will generate some uh, higher scores. And of course, you can analyze typical user behaviors. And I have another slideshow for you um, because we are at the early phase of the uh, of development, I can show you slides only, but you will see the interface. First, of course, you have to log on to the interface. This is the dashboard. This is uh, a very uh, easy to use dashboard. You have, um, uh, this, is, this is the main screen for the blind spot where you can reach all the menus here, all the uh, analytics modules and things like that. And um, this is the, um, this is how Blindspotter um, thinks a user uh, activities, how risky it is. So this is again this chart on the uh, X axis you can see the uh, risk of the user and on the Y axis you can see the, uh, the deviance uh, from the normal activities. So on the uh, upper right corner are the most suspicious events from the most uh, risky users. And 
back to the main screen, these um, activities that show this, this graph in a list. So this is the prioritized list, what the analyst guy should investigate one by one. And let's see the, the first item, the most suspicious event. So if you click on it, you will see the details, all, all the details what Black Spotter fetched from, from the third party system. It's, in this case, it's uh, an audit trail from the shark control box. So this user logged onto a server on, on the SSH protocol. And it can fetch all the metadata, the IP addresses, usernames, timestamps, ports, whatever. And so you can see all the details here. And if you go further, you will see why it, uh, why Blindspotter thinks it's suspicious, and this is because Blindspotter builds a baseline for a user uh, on on the typical behavior. So as he starts um, logging day by day, Blindspotter will uh, create this baseline and will know what is the normal behavior for this user. And as you can see, this user Mary uh, usually logs on early in the morning. After lunch, is not she's not so active. Maybe she has more coffee breaks. But after um, 4 p.m., she logs on usually. But this red line indicates that something happened uh, at 5 p.m. So he, she logged on, and that's why Blackswater thinks that might be suspicious because she usually never logs on after 4 p.m. So this is the baseline. And Blackswater also records similar and relevant um, activities. Similar events are um, is the answer to the question, was this activity happened in the past? Because if yes, then maybe it can set the, the score lower, because it, yes, it happened, um, uh, the, uh, the analyst guy uh, pressed the button that yes, it was not so important, so Blackswater can de uh, learn that. and. Uh, it can show the, the similar events in the past. And the relevant events are the uh, other common types in this session or parallel sessions for this user. So you will see the, the backgrounds of this uh, activity. And you have links to external systems. It's, this um, activity was um, generated by sh or shell control box. So you have a link to the interface of shell control box. So if you need further investigation, you can reach the source system with a single click. Or you can uh, reach the ticketing system if, if you want to check what ticket uh, was enabled to, to let the user log on to this session. You can click on the user, email, uh, user details and the host details, of course. So if you click on, on Mary, then you will see all details of Mary. Um, you can see the personal details like phone number, web email address, and so on. So you can reach the user immediately. You can call, give her a call and ask her, hey Mary, why did you log on at uh, 6 p.m.? This is not so usual for you. It was it you? And if, if she said yes, it was me because I had to log on, then you can teach uh, Blackboard and that yes, this, it was okay. So it's not, not an issue. But if she says, if she says oh, it, it wasn't me, then might be, uh, maybe it happened, maybe it, her identity was stolen. And of course you can see all the uh, activities uh, belong to Mary in the list below. You can see the, the baseline for the user, typical uh, activities for her, and you can see the uh, usual hosts for her, you can see what host uh, usually she uses, um, and if and suddenly log on to the servers which, are, which, which were not so, um, uh, which were not uh, in the past, then also might be some dangerous activity. And you can see all the parameters together. You can see this particular uh, activity, how um, typical for the user. So all these parameters, the time, the, 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 uh, the server, the port, the protocol, and so on, how typical is for this user. So that's the, what the math does behind, uh, under, under the hood. This, this is what the, the analytics model is responsible for, to create such ratings. You can see the, all the other uh, people in the group. You can compare the baseline to other users' baseline. This also helps you to understand what happened, why Blindspotter told that this was dangerous. And you have links for external systems, so you have you can reach the uh, the HR database or the LDAP. You can you can query the LDAP for for further information about this user. So this is how the integration works. It can fetch data and it can uh, forward data or fetch data from from backends as well. 
once the uh, analyst guy investigated this issue, then uh, he can close this activity by uh, clicking close and uh, he can give a feedback to the system. He can press the, the green button that yes, um, it was important, that will teach blind spotter that if this happens in the, in the future, that should generate a high, higher score. But if he pressed the no, it was not the important button, then blind spotter will know that yes, this is something usual, and maybe some other um, analyst modules will give an alert or give a higher score. But uh, if this happened, the same happens in the, in the past, maybe that will get a lower score. Once the activity was closed, then it uh, will uh, disappear from the list. Of course, you can turn on the option to show the closed events as well, and you can uh, go back in the time. You can see how the system state was two weeks ago or, or uh, half a year ago for two weeks. So you can you can change the uh, timeline here. <clears throat> and we have uh, lists for the users and the hosts as well because uh, these lists also can show important information. Let's say I'm a user, I am a user, and I log into a server. And this is a normal work for me. But if I uh, log into 100 servers at the same time, that should mean that something is not okay in the system. So that's why we have prior design list for, for the users and for the hosts as well, because, because you, you will get uh, different dimensions for, for all these actions. You can reach um, other blind spotter instances. Um, it supports uh, multi-tenancy, so if you have multiple blind spotters remotely, you can log on to the, those interfaces as well, and you can see the, the uh, state of the system of those uh, instances as well. Okay, that was all. Um, but in the meantime, if you have any questions, please visit us at uh, F9 booth, and we will be happy to answer your questions.